And there's a person who made an animated series using kimchi as its main character. And he has won multiple awards for his animated web series at LA Web Fest. And we're going to learn all about that uh, LA Web Fest. But let's talk about the man himself. Uh, his name is Kang Youngman, and he is a Korean born director. And uh, yes, he debuted his Kimchi Warrior, I hear, at this event. To learn more about him, his work, and a little bit more about LA Web Fest as well, we have him on the phone this morning. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Wave in Busan. Hi, good morning. Well, um, why don't you say hello and introduce yourself to our listeners? Okay, hi, uh, my name is Kang Young Man. I call it a uh, young man Kang in the US. <laughs> so we're saying, you know, M A N. It's yes. a man. Young man Kang, my name is like young man, it's not an old man. So everybody <laughs> remembers my name. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm a filmmaker working in both in Los Angeles, Korea. Since 2000, I uh, made five feature film and first animation. This is my first web series animation, Kimchi Warrior. Ah, well, um, why don't you tell our listeners uh, more about what web series are, first of all, and then also you could tell us about what um, LA Web Fest is all about. Okay, first of all, the technology, right? It says like the smartphone. Everybody want to watch something fun stuff like mm. Showpiece. We cannot watch your feature length film. Let's say uh, Disney, like Frozen, right? We cannot watch whole animation <laughs> series, like uh, two hours. Mm. We need like a short piece, five or six minutes. Mm -hmm. So I thought I need some kind of content for the uh, smartphone. So that's why I want to make a web series, like fun and excited, superhero with the Korean content. That's why I come up with idea. LA Web Fest is the first one, web series uh, international. Mm. So it's been five years, very new. I mean, there's a lot of uh, traditional film festival, right? It's yes. been like so many years, but none of them like web series festival because very new. Mm -hmm. So LA Web Festival, they're showing all kind of web series from all over the world. Yes. Actually, first time as a Korean content, I uh, saw so the Kitch Warrior at the uh, web festival. Mm. Yeah, so um, I want to ask you, um, where did you come mm -hmm. up with this idea, Kimchi Warrior? I mean, it's so uh, funny and so, uh, you know, uh, kind of unexpected, but where did you come up with, uh, or how did you come up with a character in the first place? Um, so Kimchi is kind of very uh, getting popular. Yes. So I thought your character, the eating Kimchi, like instead of spinach, right? Like Popeye, he did mm -hmm. a fun character. That's why I asked many Americans, you know, about the title, you know, how about uh, Kimchi Warrior? And then everybody like laughed, you know, wow, that's <laughs> a great title, you know? Mm -hmm. Superhero from Western and Kimchi from Korea. So it might be combined with the new character. Mm. That's why the idea came from. Mm, I see. Well, thank you for telling us about uh, your inspiration. And um, uh -huh. at this uh, LA Web Fest, uh, Kimchi Warrior mm -hmm. was named Outstanding Animated Series. It, that's like the equivalent of, I guess you would say, Best Picture uh, Award mm -hmm. for uh, Ordinary Film Festivals. And you also were honored for Best Cinematography and Best Score. So first, we do want to say congratulations. But um, how did you feel? And uh, did you expect at all that you would win in any of the categories? No, actually, uh, I didn't expect at all. The funny thing, like, at the award ceremony, the gala, it's like almost 800 all the people attending from all over the world, right? Mm -hmm. Two Asian and, uh, feel like I'm the only one Korean, you know, like entire mm. whole. Well, that's absolutely amazing. And um, I'm sure your friends and your family members are very proud of you. And so um, let's talk a little bit about uh, Kimchi Warrior. I, I watched uh, a little bit of maybe two or three episodes. And um, okay. I, I watched the one with, uh, I think it was Swine Flu versus... <laughs> oh, Swine Flu one, yeah. Right, yeah, right. So um, yeah. tell us a little bit about some of uh, the episodes. Each episode, uh, five minutes. Yes. And then total, I created 15 episodes so far. Yes. Each episode, uh, Kimchi Warrior visit uh, each country and uh, each different culture mm. to meet their own also superhero. For example, in India, right? The mm. curry is very healthy food. So yes. there's a curry warrior in India. Ah. So Kimchi Warrior combined with the curry warrior and defeat 
malaria. Right. Tapas Matador from uh, Spain. t a s a warrior in the Mexico. <laughs> There's uh, so many healthy food mm. in other countries. The kimchi warrior visit each country and uh, meet their own superhero. Mm-hmm. fighting against all the disease. Very cool indeed. That's the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so I hear that you, uh, you mentioned earlier that you've made uh, five films that were not animated mm-hmm. uh, web series. Um, so mm-hmm. you've made films, I hear, from romance to thriller and even a documentary. Um, so when you consider taking on a new project, what do you consider is most important to you when you're selecting a particular genre or a topic of a film? Uh, first of all, like, to make a film, right, I need money. So, mm. um, you know, whatever, like, the money comes from, sometimes, like, the producer hire me, right? Hey, yes. Here's the money here, you know, you want to direct. Mm. And, you know, read the script, then I decide, you know, oh, wow, well, this is going to be great if I direct it, right? Mm-hmm. So uh, I wouldn't mind like, all kind of genre. We need all kind of experience, you know, all different kind of, like, story. Right. Right? Even food, right? I mean, mm-hmm. if you keep eating uh, Korean food, then you're like fed up, right? So you need some <laughs> different food. <laughs> right, so you want to broaden your palate, uh, as I would say, in terms of food and mm-hmm. with film as well. Um, you're in mm-hmm. Korea right now. Uh, if I may ask, what's the purpose of your visit and uh, how long will you be staying? And basically, what are you doing here right now? Uh, first of all, uh, my latest uh, Feature the documentary, Haitian uh, Street Kids. That project um, for 12 years is like a long time, the mm-hmm. project. Yes. So uh, I want to distribute that film in uh, Korea. Mm-hmm. So I'm talking to a few distributors, you know, how we can distribute that uh, film. Right. That's why I'm here. And then also at the same time, I'm developing the Korean American uh, co production project. Mm hmm. So I think it's a really good time to co-produce between U.S. and Korea. Mm, right. I know both cultures well, so I think like perfect for that kind of project for me. Yes, it definitely sounds like it. And of course, we, looked, uh, we look forward to seeing more of your films. Um, as our final mm-hmm. question, I do want to ask you, to you, uh, Mr. King, what mm-hmm. does film or cinema mean to you? Cinema means, to me, it's, uh, it's a lot, but... Um, Like the creation, and then also the communication. Mm. I love like to create something, make a new. You know, after I make that like art form, right, new mm-hmm. stuff, and then I love to uh, share with my uh, audience. So like uh, the communication the, through uh, the media. Right. Yeah, that's why I'm you know like really get into uh, the film business. I see. Well, I can definitely mm-hmm. hear all of the passion behind your work. And uh, once again, congratulations on Kimchi Warrior. And uh, definitely oh, for you. our listeners, uh, if you go out uh, and maybe look on YouTube, you can definitely catch uh, the web series. So thank you so much, Mr. Mm-hmm. Kang. Uh, best of uh, luck to you in your future film endeavors. Oh, thank you so much. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. okay bye-bye. And once again, this was a special interview. Um, I guess in the States, he goes by Young Man King. So that's how I'm going to <laughs> refer to him as. All right. Very interesting indeed. Um, for those of you who have not checked this out, it's hilarious. I have to say it's very funny. You know, it's not meant to be serious at all. So um, tongue in cheek.